are we filming? Yes, we are. Good. Um, welcome to sunny, cloudy, rainy um, Middle England here. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I thought the weather forecast said no rain, but then again, I, I thought I'd better take my umbrella just in case. And I'm so glad because I don't want to get these file effects this wet. I've got two here. So this one you, you will have seen before. It is my Filofax Sherwood and it is, um, uh, my Filofax Sherwood is one that I have had almost to the day, actually. 20, I've had it for 29 years. And, um, oh crikey, that is so, that is so bright on my face. Um, almost, almost to the day, 29 years old and I've used it virtually every day uh, sometimes as a diary sometimes for other things but right now I'm using it as an index I have um, you can't buy them now but I've got uh, a set of uh, Filofax A to Z index cards so one for each letter of the alphabet rather than you know A B C and then D E F so it just makes it so much easier to access what you want. I don't know why well I suppose they I suppose they stopped making them because it was cheaper to make the twelve cards instead of twenty twenty six but nevertheless I mean you can you can get them on uh, Etsy from aftermarket uh designers so it's not a big deal but i the the, the reason why i'm i'm banging on about the, my file effects that is basically an index where i keep things like my email addresses and passwords and and uh you know that sort of uh, account numbers for like domestic uh, energy bills that sort of thing um, that is a well-used section of my index right now. Electric e for electricity and G for gas. <laughs> um, as as those of you abroad uh, are probably following with interest, uh, the the uh, difficulties we have in the UK at the moment. Um, but but the thing is, I have been thinking for some time that if there was I mean it's it's it sounds a bit over the top but if there was a fire or if there was uh, like a burglary um, even though I've got all these passwords etc written in code so they wouldn't mean anything to anybody else um, the uh, the thing is the thing is um, uh, there's only one of them there, there, there is only one uh, copy, and that, and that's probably, that's probably not good. So, I've actually got, I've actually acquired, um, because I like, I like the model so much. Another um, Filofax Sherwood from the similar era, um, and although they're not the most expensive. Uh, they are soft and supple and they have the quality that is synonymous with Filofaxes when they were made back in England uh, uh, up to around 1993. Although I do like the quality of some that were subsequently made abroad, but in general, as we, I don't want to, I don't want to labour the point, but the bottom line is the quality of English made Filofaxes was uh, beyond beyond what you can buy today uh you know and that's that's not subjective is it? it it is it is it is what everybody what everybody can see um so because i so why why am i making it why am i making another one well i'm making another one because um i'm going to basically write out um a complete I'm going to create a complete replica of that indexed uh Filofax. and and uh, we got some uh, oh, we got some company that's cool afternoon yeah. <laughs> nice dogs <Hey>. oh <laughs> um so 
so so why am I doing this? Because the, the reason I'm doing it is because I am going to keep this um, duplicate index, if you like, uh, at another location. I may keep it in uh, at my daughter's house, one of my daughters. Uh, I might keep it uh, in my storage unit because I'm I'm uh, although I'm sort of semi-retired now. I, I I'm. I'm still, I guess, an antiques dealer. So, what do antiques dealers have? We have a we have a lockup or a storage unit. Um, so I so I'll keep it there because the the bottom line is uh, there might be an instant or a calamity uh, at at one location, um, but it's highly unlikely there's going to be uh, an incident at uh, another location, unless, of course, we're talking about the. Um, the uh, gas pipeline from uh, from Russia, where um, failures there seem to be lots of coincidences, um, lots of unexplained explosions. But that's that's uh, that's that, and my file of facts is a, a completely something else. So they're, they're not like a target. But um, that that's that is what I'm going to do, and I I just I wanted to measure it. I wanted to mention it because. I, I think there is a danger. There is a there is a danger. I mean, if you if you go back to uh, Grace Skur, who rescued, um, she rescued the Farfax company, as it was, um, back in uh, in the Second World War by by having a record of. You know, basically having an indexed file of facts with lots of records in, and she took it home, and and then so she was able to use that data to rebuild the company uh, after after the the offices were bombed uh, in the Second World War. I I'm kind of doing a, a similar thing because it it just struck me. I mean, I I'm I I have been a file of facts user for. Uh, just coming up for 30 years um, 20, 20, not, sorry, 29 years almost to the day and uh, I, I you know it's just sort of dawned on me that, that having one file effects with one set of data is, uh, is, is a little bit of a I wouldn't say risky but if you if you lost it um even if you were, even if everything was written in code, and, and mine is in code, so so they wouldn't know, you know, a burglar wouldn't know what what it meant. Um, the uh, the thing is, it would, in terms of the time it would take to go through and recover all that data, would would be enormous. So, um, I've decided just to duplicate everything. I write things. If I want to add things, they tend to go in my Guildford Mini Extra Slim when I'm out and about. I'm carrying it all the time, although today I'm, I've left it at home. Um, but uh, I, I can quite easily add that to two file uh that are in two locations. You know, the next time I go to, say, the storage unit, then I can... Um, I can I can swap the file faxes over and take the the one that needs updating home with me and then update it and then I can have two columns and tick off uh, tick off uh, file fax one index one and index two and, and and tick off the the notes so that it it there's a there's a system that guarantees that when I update two file faxes they, uh, they 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 are in alignment as it were from a data entry point of view. Um, but uh, okay, that's a bit a bit, bit pedantic. But I but I but I like to be organised, and that's that's why I I I have a file of facts. Well, that's why I have about oh goodness knows. I, d- I don't know. I can't count at the moment. Probably probably fifty. Um, and uh, I I I just think that 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 keeping dual records, paper based records, crucially at another location uh, is a is a good idea I mean the other thing that might be useful is to just take when you when you change a page just take a photo of it and then have that in the cloud um, 
Uh, but there is a certain, as we know, a tactile quality about about keeping keeping pace paper based records, and you could potentially the cloud could go down. I mean, you you know. Uh, I have no control over the clouds, so you you just you know you just don't know, do you? You just you just don't know. Um, but uh, but you know we we are where we are with with the internet. It 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 it's not abs. There's no guarantees with the internet at all. Uh, so so I personally think that. Uh, I'm over the over the next couple of weeks or so. I'm going. I'm going to create an identical index file of facts, um, which has probably got, got about a hundred pages in there. So, so it's quite a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so um, just a just a heads up with what's coming up the, in October. I've I've been uh, as you know I've been on holiday um, in September, and I haven't I haven't posted much, uh, but. October's going to be different. I'm kind of uh, I feel compelled to produce a lot more in October. Partly, oh, the other thing is, um, p- partly because it's that time of year again. I mean, as as many of you know, I buy and sell filofaxes, and you know, I'm I'm a uh, I'm semi-retired, but 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 my main trade was antique stealing, and filofaxes has been part of that. You know, I'm 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 in business. Um, I, it's this time of year where I will be selling a fair few filofaxes, um, predominantly at auction, um, but, uh, what I will do is I will, uh, I will give you a heads up by doing a, a short video when I, when I, when I, uh, sell a file of facts, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. Um, there's always a um, in the description. There, there is a there's always a, an affiliate link to the filofaxes I'm selling. I haven't got one any filofaxes on right now, but uh, there will be quite a few very very shortly. Um, and uh, you know, as you know, with affiliate links, uh, I I make a small commission if uh, if you click on item and then and then and then uh you know that's that's how the world goes round and uh uh I, I make a small amount of money which uh which predominantly will will go to uh uh buy more file faxes so so uh it's a it is an interesting thing um but uh but it is it is what it is. Uh, it doesn't cost you you guys any anything. Uh, so uh, so it, it's kind of a like a win win really. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna finish there because I've been going, waffling too long. And uh, um, whatever weekend you're having, I hope you're having a good one. And I'll have another video for you very very soon. Bye for now.